It is such a different world now than when I was growing up, and with cyberbullying and everything else going on with computers and internet, it's a scary world to navigate right now. And you know, it's, I'm gonna have to really research how I'm gonna raise my kids with this and talk to a lot of professionals and figure out how, what I can do, what precautions I can take. But what I would just tell my kids is you have to, you have to behave yourself. First of all, you have to behave yourself. You say something to someone else, that can hurt them. And what we say is words are like toothpaste. Squeeze out the toothpaste and see if you can put that back in there. So we, we literally take them to a tube of toothpaste and say, okay, squeeze that out. Now put it back in, those are your words. If you can't put that toothpaste back in the tube, how are you gonna get your words back in your mouth? So we tell our kids, you know, you have to think about how this is gonna hurt someone's feelings. And a lot of the time with them, when they were really little, if they said something hurtful to me, I just start crying and that would make them go, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So they realize that words can be hurtful and they can cut. And I ask them all the time, I'm like, do you think that this scratch I have is gonna go away? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, do you think I'm gonna forget what you said to me? And they say, no, I don't. And I'm like, well, you know, saying you're sorry is nice, but it doesn't fix it. So we try to teach our kids really that, you know, words are powerful and you've got to be careful.